you know, you obviously anytime you change teams, you don't know how it's going to go. But I think there's been incredible support you know, I've had from, uh, you know, all the, you know, with the team I used to play for all, all the New England fans. And, um, you know, I still obviously have a great affection for New England. And, you know, I, I said the other day, my kids were born in Boston. So, I mean, I have a lot of love for Boston and all of New England and the incredible support over the years. Um, you know, again, it was an amazing two decades of my life. As long as I'm playing, I, I want to improve and get better. And I think next year is going to be a lot better than this year. You know, I feel like I'll be in a much better place mentally. Um, I'm going to train a lot better this year. Physically, next year I'll be in a better place. So um, I know as soon as this game ends, we're on the next season. So, you know, we'll get ready for this season and then start thinking about next year. Well, Peyton was a, someone that I always just uh, admired as a quarterback, as a as a um, the leader of a team. And uh, Peyton and I are right around the same age. He's a few years older than me. But, you know, I got – I always looked up to Peyton because he was a little older than me, and he was always doing things the right way. His team was always in it. You know, I know our teams had a rivalry against one another, but when you went against a Peyton Manning-led team, you were going as, going against essentially the, the other best team in the league. And um, – it's no real surprise that, you know, he'd be a first ballot Hall of Famer. What doesn't surprise you? He can do anything. He can do anything and everything. Uh, the most, I mean, when he backpedals, there is no pocket because he just keeps backpedaling and uh, no one in the league, any league can stop and throw that ball or keep backpedaling and throw that ball as accurately down the field as far as he can. So he, he is a very, very unique player.